Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! A Super Mario World Central production for the Super Nintendo, a Super Mario World ROM hack, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. In fact, this was the first game selected in the 2012 Christmas special, and since people enjoy hacks, why not do this one first? I haven't decided the order for the other Christmas special projects, because, well... That's pretty much how I roll. During a cutscene, press A to advance the dialogue, hold B to scroll continuously, and press start to skip the scene altogether. Thanks, ellipsis. Ah, ravioli. Ah, tortellini. Ah, rigata. Ooh, snap! Is it? Is it? It is! Peach's birthday is tomorrow, and I'll remember everything for the cake about the eggs. Very funny that her Peach's birthday is Friday the 13th. On a September, mind you. Hey, bro. Take a look for this lead story. You still need eggs for that cake you want to make Princess Peach? Do not ever. I'll be right back, okay? No. Hang on a second. Listen to this. Apparently, Bowser announced that he's in possession of these legendary eggs better than any other eggs in the Mushroom Kingdom. He's beefed up all of his troops and defenses, and he's daring us, the Mario Bros, to come and get the eggs from his eight castles. Then what did we set to get out for? Let's get out of there and stop to Koopa Tell! Wait! Hold on, Mario! I don't think we should just run for Bowser's castle! Bowser issuing a public dare for us to come and get the eggs from him? Something doesn't feel right about this. What if he's trying to lure us into... Luigi! Y yes did you read the article? What? Of course I read... Peach! Birthday! Eggs! Bowser! Let's a go! Huh... Ellipsis. Well, Luigi, if you didn't really want Mario to go over there, why'd you read the article in the first place? So yeah, that's his house right there. It looks very similar to the house in Paper Mario 1, except for the calendar. Maybe the calendar was there, but I didn't really pay attention to that much detail. So now we're in Toad Town, and this music is actually from Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Yes, they serve beer here. Welcome to Super Mario World Central Er Toad Town's Bar and Grill. People from all over have gathered here to socialize and whatnot. So you see some various characters, including Roth from Super Mario World 2 Plus 3, the Essence Star. Other characters I don't recognize because I don't really play every single hack that's available. But I'm sure some of you guys will recognize them. Whether they're characters in Mario hacks or not. So I'll definitely look around for a little bit before we go to an actual level. Oh, just a coin. Uh, thanks. Much appreciated. So yeah, coins have a different purpose than normal. They're actually used as currency. 200 coins for a mushroom, 350 for a flower, 500 for a feather, 1,000 for a 1-up, and a space suit requires 3,000 coins, and you need all eggs for it. So if you don't have enough money, they're not going to give it to you. So this pretty much gives you a reason to go looking around for coins. Because now that you have to use them as currency to store an item, they have a different purpose, rather than just give you an extra life for every 100 coins. Okay, there's a warp over there, but I'm gonna save it for later. I believe the warp is pretty much an underground network that'll help you travel to other areas much faster. But they're gonna have to wait. But for now, let's actually do the first level. And so it begins! And believe it or not, the first level actually has a secret exit. Apparently, it doesn't even have a points meter, either. Which I also find strange. So yeah, it's just like, whose line is it anyway? The game is made up, and the points don't matter. Anybody that knows about Super Mario World Central, or rather, those that don't, Super Mario World Central is obviously a place where many people, including myself, get them with Super Mario World ROM hacks. So this is pretty much the high source on where to get them. This is where I got this hack. 
In fact, it's called a Super Mario World Central production, which explains why Super Mario World Central would have this hack. I believe it's made by various Super Mario World Central hack developers. Or not exactly representing Super Mario World Central, but at least submitted hacks to that site. So yeah, I'll definitely be on the lookout for every secret exit as per usual, and I'll probably be looking for coins more often as well. Oh, there's a hidden pipe. Okay, that was a bit of a weird glitch. Looked a bit painful. Ooh, one up. Don't mind if I do. Can I still get an extra life for picking up a hundred coins? I don't know. It would seem very unlikely, but it's worth a shot. I've been told that this hack can be a bit annoying when it comes to certain puzzles. I will definitely take their word for it. But then again, I've endured much worse. Remember Mario's masochistic mission? One of the worst ROM hacks I ever played because it was just too balls to the wall difficult. But that's in the past now. I think it's time to move on from it. I can't be bitter for the rest of my life regarding that hack. Well, I can, but it won't get me anywhere. Probably just an early grave. Which I'm sure my haters would love to put me in. <laughs> I don't let simple things get to me, but in any case, let's just deal with what's here. Hey, uh, what's up? That face looks very ugly. I don't, don't even remember who that guy is. If you guys know, just feel free to tell me. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need the green switch palace to get over there. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the path to the secret exit. I suppose I can still go for the tape. So let's do that. Yeah, I don't think I got a an extra life for 100 coins. Because the only lives I got were in that... Damn it, the phone! Time out. Okay, I'm back after that little rude interruption. But in any case, I only got like two lives. One in that underground grotto, and the other one for the five Yoshi coins. Which kind of looked like a horse, actually. Now let's do Gram and Terra. I don't know what Gramen stands for, but I know Terra is Earth. And great, now there are spinies falling from the gr from the sky. Only problem is I can't see the Lakitu, which means I basically have to dodge quite a bit. Oh, I saw the Lakitu. It was all the way up there. So difficult to reach. Yeah, I had to do a ducking jump, otherwise I would have fallen. Uh, shell, don't mind if I do. What will I need it for? Okay, I think I know what to do now. Let's do this. A star? Okay. Yes, you spin me right round like a record, baby. Right round, right round, round, round. Okay, that was for a horse coin and a one-up. I don't really understand why all of these stars are here. That seems like a bit of overkill. In fact, I can't get over there. But can I do like a big running jump? Let's see. Nope, there's a ceiling. Uh, Mario's expectations have gone down. Hmm, what if I take the shell with me? Who knows, I might need it for something. I could probably pick off that Lakitu if it's still there. I don't see it. And I got rid of the shell. Well, let's see what else is over here. In case you're wondering, that music is actually from Super Mario Kart. The, uh, the beach levels? They can be quite annoying. Well, actually, not really. Well, except for the, maybe the last one. That can be very difficult. But I find that Super Mario Kart... I haven't really been the best Super Mario Kart player. I like Mario Kart 64 a lot, as Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart Wii. I have very good memories of those games. A little bit of Super Mario Kart or Mario Kart Super Circuit is also good. Not so good with uh, Super Mario Kart and Double Dash. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. 
Mario Kart DS, I've only played a small bit, and it was online with some friends, especially Everfan NF, who I also played Mario Kart DS with. I was a winner in that. I did pretty good. Which explains why I said I was a winner. It's like, I was a winner even though I got last in every race. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm, what's over here? Probably the secret exit. Yes. Okay, that, that, that level wasn't too hard. Spinies were annoying, though. And I just fast-tracked my way to the first castle, Treacherous Tower. But let's go back and get the normal exit, shall we? So yeah, I've only done one Mario Kart playthrough on YouTube, and I haven't even finished it. I think I just stopped around 100cc of Super Mario Kart, and there was no commentary. Which was years ago, by the way. I might do Mario Kart 64 sometime in the future. Maybe not this year. It depends on how high the demand is. If the demand's very high, I would definitely consider it. Other than that, I just focus on other things. You know, I don't really need this cloud, so I'm just gonna get off. So yeah, this hack is quite different for having no point system or, like, 100 coins for an extra life. At least the secret exits are marked. You know, same as usual, like, red ones have secret exits. Unlike Drama Mystery, which I've talked about this before, which didn't have yellow or red yellow level markers. Like, it was all colorless. Which disappointed me, because, remember, I said this before, you have to look around to see which level is secret exit or not. It wasn't obvious to you. But that's an unrelated issue. Can I get the... No, I wasn't gonna get the 50. I pretty much knew as soon as I jumped for it. Oh my god, there's like three levels in a row with a secret exit, and you can't even press start to go to the map. Okay, here's some Kirby's Dreamland music. I don't know how it fits into the grand scheme of things, so you won't even be able to hear it for very long. Okay, another flower, that's great. Nothing else over to the right. So I guess what I have to do is just go in the cave. <laughs> another flower if you need one. At least that spot's good for power-ups. Beware, once a Mega Mole touches lava, he can no longer support your weight. I'll keep that in mind. So here's some Seiken Densetsu 3 music. To think, it's been a while since I LP'd that game. It was a lot of fun. I mean, certain YouTubers that were fans of mine really loved it. And I think that was around the same time I was doing Paper Mario with a Thousand Year Door. So it was a bit hard to balance which RPG to bring more attention to, because they were both very good. Uh, I don't know how this is going to help me get up there. Wait, oh, I was going to use the uh, weird-looking bonsai bell. Come on. Ducking jump. You know what? Screw it. It's not like I need to get that. I'm sure there's another way to get up there. Kind of shed the bed on that one, but that's okay. Gotta remember, this place does have a secret exit, but I've been practicing and found out where it is. It's just a little further ahead. Well, actually, not a little further ahead. I still got a ways to go. There, now I still get the horse coin. I don't think that's its real name, horse coin, but it looks like a horse. Either that or a llama with its nose cut off. There's just not enough room to show the whole nose, so we had to, like, uh, cut it off at the tip. You know, just in case you were wondering that llama had rhinoplasty gone wrong. It didn't! Don't get nervous. And now we get to this part! It's a little bit of a s Aw, oh, damn it, I didn't want that flower. It's a bit of a switch puzzle, which can be very annoying. Also, you have to deal with these flames. So let me go up here. 
Let's see where this takes me. Hmm, something about this place seems so familiar. In fact, it's the exact area we were to before, only the enemies are smaller. <coughs> like bonsai bills are now bullet bills. These uh, sparkies are now smaller. The moles are smaller. If I remember, this is where the secret exit is. So let's get to it. Wait, what other ROM hack have I heard this track before in? Oh, Super Mario Omega. That was a very good hack. I mean, Emeth did that one recently. He's a Norwegian Let's Player. You should check him out if you haven't already. Can I get up there? Yes, I can! Secret. Now, where's this gonna take me? Forgotten Forest. Alright, let's go. Ah, Donkey Kong Country 1 music. In forest, it can be difficult to see what is ahead, behind, or above. Be careful, take it slow, and watch out for secrets. Oh, okay. Wonder what's significant about this level, other than having enemies and bubbles. Because apparently their immune systems suck. Like we gotta protect them! They're gonna get diseases in this forest! Or not. They're gonna catch a disease known as death, courtesy of Mario. Because I want them eggs, damn it! Eggs are good. Uh, let's see, yep, I'm gonna need that trampoline. Like, yeah, will the puzzles in a Super Mario World Central production be a pain in the ass? Probably. But, I haven't finished the hack at all. In fact, when I played it, initially, I didn't really get that far. Like, I just stopped playing after a while. I once heard of a young lad who tried to search behind trees. They say he jumped be behind two and then rode through the air. Um, okay... Be on the lookout for two trees. But yeah, I haven't played this hack a lot. Probably because I lost interest midway or I had other games to play. But now that I'm LPing it, I have an excuse to play it in full. Because you guys will never let me hear the end of it if I don't. And I'm not going to complain about that. Oh, that's what it means by floating through the air. I'm gonna miss the tape altogether. Because I'm a noob. Okay, this forest is nothing special. I wouldn't be surprised if there's another secret that I missed, but for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it be. Let's go back to Big Batty Cave. Remember, it's a good idea to collect as many coins as you can. But you don't want to waste too much time. I mean, I'm let's playing this. If I was playing it casually, I probably would spend a little bit more time going for coins that I've already found before. But for now, I just gotta expedite my time. Keep things moving steady. At least there's no shortage of power-ups in this game. So you won't have to worry about being very low. Given that the whole mechanic of not getting 100 coins for an extra life, that means I'm more likely to have less lives than I would usually get in other hacks. Which wouldn't surprise me to say the least. Okay, let's go back through here again. Wait, this is not the way I want to go, is it? Can I get through here? Uh, I probably can, yes. But now I'm going a different path. Huh, just one coin. How lowly. Uh, what the hell? I held a run and a B button. I should not have fallen through. Maybe I just didn't get enough running space, possibly. This is the way I want to go over here. Is that all? Uh, yeah. 
just want to see what's in these boxes. Bit worse get a hit because these like big fireballs are on random. Oh, so much for getting a lot of coins here. Oh, that was terrible. It's gotta be the end of the level. Oh, yes it is. I can get another flower. Perfect. What's up with these bonsai bills being everywhere? Eh, 30. That was good enough. Um... Did I botch it? Well, I got one! That gives me one one-up. Okay, since I rarely get one-ups now, due to the mechanics of this hack, I'm gonna try going for the tape more often. Uh, I think this is gonna be enough for now, so in the next episode, we'll go to Sunny River. See ya, everyone. Thanks for watching.